Okay, fifth graders, we are now in chapter five, section one. And um, we're looking for um, patterns for division. And the first example they give us here, um, they're talking about, uh, it says a jet airplane carries, uh, what is it here, 18,000 passengers in 90 trips. And then it says, how many passengers does the plane hold? So um, they go ahead and go through some steps on showing you how to how to look at this. Um, basically, you can look at it like 18 divided by 9. Well, that equals 2. And then you can add a 0 to make it 180. And then add a 0 to 9 to make it 90. So that's 18 tens. And then add another 0. And then another... Uh, uh, Add another zero to make it uh, 1,800, and that's 180 tens, and another zero here, and it's 1,800 tens divided by nine, and it's two, it's 200. And I, I don't know if that works for you guys, great. Um, and it says here the jet can hold 200 passengers. Here's, a, here's how I look at it. Um, what do we have here? We have 18 thousand passengers okay and it's being divided by 90 well I, I am going to look at the 18 and the 9 so eight, uh, 18 divided by 9 is 2 all right now I'm going to get rid of a 0 here and a 0 here because if I get rid of a 0 um, on one side I want to get rid of a 0 on the other side and then my next question is, how many zeros do I have left that I didn't uh, cross out? I've got two left. I'm going to add those two zeros in. I think, honestly, <laughs> I think it's a little better and easier method to uh, looking for patterns in, in dividing numbers. I mean, let me, let me make up another one here. <clears throat> how about, uh, let's, like, uh, let's go 240,000, okay? 240,000, uh, let's divide that by by 80, okay? Well, um, first off, let's just deal with 24 and eight. How many times does eight go into 24? It goes three times, all right? Now let's just start canceling some zeros here. Well, I'm gonna cancel the zero by the 80, and that means I'm gonna cancel one more here. And there isn't any more zeros I can cancel because if I cancel one on the left, I have to, or one on the right, I have to cancel one on the left. So there's three that I haven't uh, haven't canceled out. So I'm going to add those three zeros. And so what's the answer? It's three thousand. So twenty or two hundred and forty thousand divided by eighty is three thousand. I'm going to do another one. And uh, um, and I can show you guys, you know, some more of these, so it'll kind of stick with you. Um, I don't know. Let's do uh, let's do. Uh, let me see here. How about uh, two million five hundred thousand? Okay, two million five hundred thousand divided by um, 500, okay? So, uh, first off, let's just look at what we can work with here. How about 25 divided by five? Well, what's that? That's gonna be five. So can we cancel out some zeros here? Yeah, I can do one, two zeros here. That means I can cancel out two zeros on this side. How many zeros do I have left that I didn't cancel out? One, two, three. So two million five hundred thousand divided by five hundred equals five thousand. Okay. So enough on that. Uh, you guys can do it that way. Uh, if you want to look at the example they gave uh, that I touched on briefly, you can certainly do it that way if you choose. Um, let's see here. If the jet above carries 
10,000 people in 50 trips, how many did it carry in each trip? Well, uh, we can do that. 10,000 divided by um, 50, okay? What's 10 divided by 5? That's going to be 2. I'm going to cancel out a 0, cancel out a 0. How many zeros are left uh, that I didn't use? Uh, that would be two zeros. 50. Um, actually, let's we'll see if that works here. 50 times 200. Okay. Um, zero times zero is zero. Zero, zero. Five, and put a placeholder there. Five times zero is zero, and zero, and then 10. And then we add it up. Zero, 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 one. And what do we have there? 10,000. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go down to the next page here, the guided practice. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, they're asking why is 210 divided by 30 the same as 21 tens divided by 3 tens? Well, 210 equals 21 tens and 30 equals 3 tens that's why they're the same okay let's look at number two here number two it says a jet carries 12,000 people in 40 trips if the jet was full each trip how many people did it carry each trip well so it's 12,000 divided by 40. Okay, well, let's look at um, 12 divided by 4. What's 12 divided by 4? That's 3. Is there some zeros we can cancel out? Well, one here, it means we can cancel out one on that side too. And there's two zeros left over. 1, 2 equals 300. So I can put that over there. 300. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that um, Airbus. Uh, let's see here. Airbus A800, I think it was called. Let me bring that up. Uh, that was actually on the previous page. Let me go back to that. Um, it is the largest uh, display layer, too. It's the largest, it, well, let's see it. I'm not going to say it's the largest airplane, but it carries more passengers than any other airplane. And uh, I think it's the Airbus A380-800, something like that. Anyways, uh, depending on its configuration, it can carry um, up to over 800 people. And this is just one of the sections here that you can you can see right here. I mean, look at this, man. This is that's that's something else. And and then these little uh, the little portals there that you can see. Each one of those are are sections, and it's a double layer because there's a section on top of a section, and um, so it it can hold upwards of uh, over 800 people. Anyways, I thought that was kind of cool. So let me go back to uh, working in layer one here. Work in layer one, get rid of layer two. Okay, um, I think you guys understand how to do these. You should be able to do most of these on your own without too much too much trouble. Uh, tomorrow in class, I can ask if there's some in particular that you want me to do. Um, let's see here. Uh, sure. Okay, how about number 11 here? I'm looking at number 11. It's it's 360 divided by 60. Um, and so that's 36 tens divided by 6 tens. Okay. Well, what's 36 divided by 6? That's 6, right? And then I can count a 0 out on each one. 
And so um, that would simply be 6. Um, how about number 13? 24,000. 24,000 divided by 60 equals, they've got 24,000 tens divided by 6 tens. If that helps you to look at it that way, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to look at what's 24 divided by 6. What's 24 divided by 6? That's going to be 4. I'm going to cancel out a 0 here, and that means I can cancel out 1 on this side too. How many zeros uh, did I not uh, cancel out? 2. So I'm going to add those in. So that's going to be 400. 400. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. We'll go to the, the problem solving. Let's do one more here. Number 26. The table shows the number of passengers who flew on airplane flights in and out of one airport. Each flight had the same number of passengers. How many passengers were on each flight? Uh, okay, so sometimes they give us information that we don't need, and I think the crew members would qualify. We don't really need to worry about the crew members, but we do have 27,000. 27,000. Number of flights is 90, so it's being divided by 90. Okay, well, what's 27 divided by 9? That's 3. There's a zero here I can cancel out, and I can cancel out one zero over there. How many zeros did I not cancel out? Two. So the answer to that one is 300. Now, it's a word problem, passengers. Remember, if it's a word problem, make sure you label it. Don't just put 300. That almost looks like 360. 300. Okay. In fact, that looks worse. 300. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. All right. Um, well, let's do one more here. How about 28? Paula wants to divide 480 tomatoes. 480 tomatoes equally among 80 baskets. How many tomatoes will she put in each basket? That's an easy one. What's 48 divided by 8? Well, if you guys know your times table, you know that's uh, 6 times 8 is 48, so that's 6. I can cancel out a 0 here. I can cancel out a 0 here. What's left? There isn't any more zeros to add. So the answer is simply 6. 6. Well, I can actually just write the number 6 and then put baskets. How many tomatoes will Paula? Oh, six tomatoes. Six tomatoes in each basket. Okay. All right, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow.